Blyton, 3.08 a.m. Edwina Jackson was lying in her bed, <laughs> twisting and turning in a fitful sleep. Constable Brown hadn't believed her at first, but when she brought him to the old turnpike road, the head was still there. That would teach him to doubt her. In her dreams, she kept seeing it. That gruesome severed head, those hollow eyes, those parted silent <laughs> lips, the faint traces of decay. He came out of the darkness, the tall, misshapen man who must have been beautiful once. He lunged forward and pressed his hand on her mouth. Edwina <laughs> Jackson tried to scream, but his strong heart grip stifled every sound. When she opened her eyes, she looked directly into the distorted face above her. She could feel his breath on her skin. She kicked her legs frantically, trying to free herself in vain. What do you want? You know what I want. The police has it. I showed him Constable Brown. He has it. Please don't hurt me. You're scared. Yes. You think I'm ugly. Don't you? No! Come on, admit it! I'm hideous! Even Papa thinks I'm a freak! You're, you're not a freak! That's right! I'm not! Tommy reached for a sharp combat knife he always carried with him. <laughs> her blood seeped from her open throat, soaking the sheets in a hot, liquid red. Tommy stopped and looked at his bloody hands. What did I do? He recoiled in horror. What did I do? 